Hello and welcome back to Euro Truck Simulator 2. Driving a new truck today, it's a DAF XF as modified by 50 Kaida on the uh, SES forums. Uh, it looks quite smart, to be honest, you have to excuse the radio in the background. Um, I'll have a better look at the truck. We're outside, I think, a bit cramped in the garage. Um, we're going to try and haul the uh, Bauab tree today. Let's have a quick look in the map. There we go. We're in Glasgow currently. A short trip north. Pick up the tree. And uh, if I remember rightly, it's going all the way to... Well, I think it's Dusseldorf. Put some uh, lights on. And off we go. I have uh, had the engine tuned, as it were, ever so slightly. Uh, oh, I forgot what country I was in. I thought I was we were driving on the uh, on the right there. Oh, is he going? Is he? Is he? Uh, too slow. Oh, 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 uh, nearly. We're hanging around there. Uh, yeah, the body, uh, I've had the engine tuned, as it were. Um, I think it's 3,500 uh, newton meters of torque on this puppy. Uh, I think the, the stock engine is 510 brake. Uh, with uh, 3,500 newton meters. But uh, when I get to the delivery, or the collection rather, when I get to the collect, when I get to the collection, I'll uh, take a quick look outside the truck. First impressions are it seems to drive nice. It seems to sound pretty nice. Seems to stop pretty nice. We're running the 6x4 chassis. <laughs> okay, nearing the collection point. Okay, excuse these. Just north of Glasgow. I don't know why, but the steering feels very twitchy. I'm not. not uh, Entirely sure whether it's a controller issue or whether it's a me issue. If I had to vote, I'd say it's a me issue, but the road's bumpy. The uh, the old force feedback, on the G27 is really working overtime today. It's, it's quite. Quite violent. I must admit, the interior of this truck really does look quite sweet. The uh, the uh, in cab entertainment system there maybe lets it down ever so slightly, but the rest of it, it looks very high quality. Um, just sign in, get the paperwork. There we go. Just a quick overview of the route. And there, there she is, 20 tonnes. It says 20 tonnes. I'm not entirely sure that it is 20 tonnes or not. Um, pretty sure it is. This isn't the uh, Jazzy Cat. I think Jazzy Cat. Um, the part of the trailer pack for... Uh, with the, uh, I'll start again. Part of the Jazzy Cat trailer pack... Uh, I believe contains the uh, Baab tree. Apologies if I'm saying that wrong. Um, this is a standalone mod, which is slightly different. Um, I've only hauled the Jazzy Cat tree a couple of times, uh, mainly because I've not really come across it. Those reflections on the uh, the glass inside the cab are pretty epic 
Um, yeah, and you hold it a few times. Where is it? Not down there. And uh, since I installed this plugin, it seems to be uh, seems to be everywhere. Not plugin. This um, standalone trailer. It seems to be uh, everywhere. I would highly, highly recommend any of Jazzy Cat's work. It's very high quality. There it is. That's a beast, isn't it? That is a beast. Pretty long. It's kind of long. So, get out of the camp. Tell you what, I'll hook up. And, uh, and then we'll take a quick look around it. Decent uh, looking trailer to be honest. I think, I think that I think it'll get in close. I think that's. Uh, I mean, I don't know how these things work, but I suspect that's. Uh, oops, it's got to be a, uh, a photo mapped onto a log. It's pretty, uh, pretty beastly. It's going to be a bit difficult to see behind. So we're going to have to take things steady. Anyway, apologies for the noise, but uh, here's the DAF XF. It's pretty, uh, pretty nice. I do like the, uh, and this is completely unintentional. I do like the LEDs on the uh, lower ball bar there, the side uh, side mounted LEDs. How they light up the front uh, of the truck. I think they look uh, pretty nice. Check all the lights are working. And uh, I suppose we should have some beacons, beaconage. Strobes on the front. I think we're good to go. Trailer lights are working. Well, there's no time like the present. Hit the road. Get back in the camp. That'll be an idea. And by the feel of it, I'd say that is about 20 tons. some of the larger loads when you get towards 30 tons and some, some of the machinery and things it can be quite challenging getting out of this quarry it's deceptively steep well, it's not that deceiving at all it's just very steep and also because it's uh, it's quite sort of it's quite a long haul out of the quarry also with the turns as well, it means you can't exactly get a, a, a run up at it. Otherwise you come a bit of a cropper. Not sure exactly how much driving time we've got left. Maybe... A quick look, six hours maybe? Five and a half hours, that was a good guess. Got plenty of time to get there. Well, looks like we're going to need most of that time. Uh, the other thing, I'm, uh, the other modification to this truck is the gearbox. As you may, well, you probably haven't noticed actually, because I've not really been fast enough. Uh, but this is a 22-speed box. Um, I do like this box, and I try and 
try and run it where I can in most of my trucks. Uh, quite a versatile box. It does have its moments where it's sort of can't figure out what gear it's supposed to be in and throws a bit of a wobbly, but generally it's okay. Um, modified some of the gear ratio, so it's, it's generally a lower geared box. Just to help out in some of the uh, some of the hills with some of the heavier loads. So we're getting tired. Crazy overtaking. I'll try and stay in my lane. I don't uh, don't often drive. It's like driving a big log down the road. <laughs> oh. <coughs> Excuse me. Beautiful. Look. Let's get back in the cab since it's go oh. Oh, I'm there. Um, getting a bit bendy. Service is 200 yards. I think I could do with those. I'm hearing yawning. Oh dear, sorry. <sighs> Apologies. Oh dear, am I going to fit in there? I'm going to have to, aren't I? I think. Maybe. I'm going to have to drop this trailer off, I think. Uh, let's see. No. Sleeping at the other end. Do need any fuel? Not really. Um, 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 um. Drop the trailer here and then pull into a uh, space. I'm sure the service station. I know the service station owner is all right with me <sighs> leaving the trailer randomly blocking all his pumps. I'm stop indicating now. Uh, that one. Break on. 
still indicating. I'm pressing the wrong button. That'll be why then. Sleepy time. Try that again. <laughs> Stay tuned for the next episode in the Mammoth Journey to Erfurt hauling this giant twig. See you later.